I'm back here now on some of my deep seating chairs. That's what they call <clears throat> these big fat cushions like this, deep seating. Usually you find deep seating in cushions that are for sofas and large seating like the one I'm sitting in. This is also called a swing chair. It has springs in it to make it rock back and forth. Very comfortable chair. Also some chairs will swivel. This is not a swivel chair, but there are chairs that swivel. So when you buy a dinette set, you might want to get straight chairs that just sit there in one place. Chairs that are, have arms or no arms, swivel or don't swivel, rock or don't rock, or do all those things. They might swivel and rock. Okay, so over here in the corner I have a matching table. Most of these collections have matching tables, but you don't have to use those tables. So when a customer comes in and they're first looking for a new patio set or patio furniture, that's usually where I like to start. What is the size? What is the shape of your table? Now some tables come in round. I have a round fire pit right here. We'll talk about that too, I guess. And then also I carry oval shaped tables, tables that are square with squared corners. And when you see squared corners, their corners and edges are all different. Um, as for instance, on the chair right here from Summer Classics, they literally have a patented basket weave for that pattern. So some of them are very proud of their patterns and their styles. So in all these different um, furniture collections, you're gonna see tables, but they aren't necessarily the tables you have to use to match. We also have large, gigantic tables that'll seat eight people that are square, and we have fire tables. Okay, what's a fire table? Pretty much fire table is a table that has a round pit in it that we put glass or media in, and then it's hooked up to a propane or natural gas, and we turn it on and it fires up with a clicker like a little <clears throat> barbecue lighter, and then we enjoy that, and when you're done, you shut off the valve and off you go to bed. You don't have to worry about embers or fire. Um, also, I sell tables that would be a fire table, meaning they're rectangle, like a cocktail table, or they're round, like the fire pit um, ready to finish table that you see here, or they might be a bar height, or they might be a chat height, which is this height, or a dining height, which is a little bit higher where you would sit up to and eat. So there's several different table heights and table sizes. On a fire table, I would suggest you not get a table any smaller than three feet. Otherwise, it's just more fire than you got table and it really gets too hot. You won't be able to sit close at the table and enjoy it. Right here in front of me, I have a typical fire pit <clears throat> table and we have fake logs. When you buy fake logs, they're hand painted and a lot of them have holes in them so you can set them up and make the fire come up through the hole. So most fire wood comes with a kit with lots of different sizes and you're able to kind of create your little campfire and put your little pieces in the campfire. Underneath the campfire, deep down, in kind of the pan, here I'm using lava rock. Lava rock looks very natural, looks very natural with the wood. Pretty much humans looked at burning wood for 2,000 years. We can use wood, it's very satisfying. We've also used things that I would call fire art. That would be metals that you use in the fire to create scapes or animals or other things that you enjoy. Or um, I also sell fire art that looks like, say, cannonballs stacked up like a pyramid and other types of fire art. If you're really looking to do some fire art, this is a great time to get creative. So most of these fire tables that I sell come with the table, the top, and the fire gear and the medium all ready for you to light up and enjoy in your backyard. We can look at some of those on the website and I have lots of pictures in my product list to look at fire tables and fire pits.